This is example two in the cost of capital reading from the finance fundamental series on corporate finance. See the link in the description for where to find the free downloadable file which contains this example and much else besides. In this question we are asked to calculate the component capital weights for use in the WACC equation. This is for a company for which we are given some balance sheet extracts. In addition to the accounting numbers, we have also been given some other information which appears to be about the market value of the equity components. Let's take a look at the issues involved. The first principle that we need to remember to apply is that we must always use the target capital structure. This question clearly is initially set up to test whether you are going to allow yourself to be distracted by the provision of the accounting numbers, which should never be used. There is an additional detail in this question, which is quite interesting, which is that you should not automatically feel entitled to use the market values unless and this is what applies in this question, unless those current market values are also the target values for the firm's capital structure. And that is in fact the case in this question. So we walk straight past the examiner's attempt to trap us with those accounting numbers. And we immediately begin by setting up a schedule in which we calculate the market values of equity, preference shares, and debt. Beginning with equity, we need to do a minor calculation in order to demonstrate our understanding of what market capitalization for a company is, which is in this case 26.82 million shares, which have a current share price of 24.15 each for a total of 647,703,000. And I think to save on those trailing zeros, we're going to be working in units of 1,000 Rand from here on. The market value of preference shares has been given to us at 81,400. I remind you, we're working in units of 1,000 here. And the market value of debt is 337,000. Those three are the capital components of this company and therefore to determine the total capital equivalent to the total market value of the assets of this company is 1 billion and 66 million 103,000 rand. The final step is to take those market values for the individual components equity preference shares and debt and divide them into that total capital number to calculate the percentages involved, which turn out to be 60.75% for equity, 7.64% for preference shares, and finally 31.61% for debt. And we do a check to ensure that as is logically required, the sum of those three components is equal to 100%.